So today we've got Duncan's first place LLD's um, deck profile, and yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of cards in here. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah, monarch for the most part. Do you want to explain it? Explain what about it? I don't like, know. There's stuff the here that people. no one has seen before, probably. Like right, they've seen both of before, right? Hey, what's a garbage ogre? Garbage Ogre searches Garbage Lord. Garbage Lord is basically more Red Slayer cards. But like, every card that can replace Red Slayer it either needs no field to special summon it, or you need to discard a card. And I didn't want to do either of those. And so the only card left is Garbage Lord. Like, it's not a good card, it's just the only card that fills that role without needing to discard. But it can only make darks and. Most of the time, you just use it as tribute fodder. I've actually occasionally tribute summoned it to the trigger button, but you mostly use it as tribute fodder. Points. Tribute summon zero attack. Really good. Okay, but, cool. Right. Why play but Ogre though? Because it's like level three, and like, what if you draw it? Like, you just you discard, discard it to search, to search and then. It just yeah, then like, it oh, okay. makes sense. You're never going to pay 6,000 to summon three garbage lords. Like, Aegis isn't that good. Oh, wow. We have a main deck, Zaborg. Okay, why? Um. It makes Aether be an OTK on its own with Volcasaurus or Shark Fortress. And there's also a cool Pleiades play that you do. So you go summon an Aether over something. Skin Pantheism in Prime. You need like a way to put any other Monarch spell in the grave. Or another Monarch in hand. So you banish the Pantheism to get three Tenacities. You reveal whatever. And you get a Storm Force. Then you banish the tenacity to summon Prime. You overlay Prime with Zaborg and make Pleiades, then bounce your Aether. And so you've got Stormforth Aether, but instead of going like Aether summon Aether, you've got an Aether summon Pleiades, basically. And so that's good against Burning Abyss. Against the Mirror, it's okay, because you can bounce their Tribute Fodder. Or if they Stormforth, you can just bounce itself, and then Stormforth Aether them once they successfully summon something. Against Cosmo, you bounce the Fire King Island. Or you put something back to hand when someone uses Demise, so they don't draw as many cards. It's, it's okay against everything. Okay. So, that, that's... That's really, that. That, that, that. That's that, okay. <laughs> what, why, what, what, why are you three. playing 41 cards and 2 Erebus? Like, what? Because if I played 3 Erebus, that would be 42 cards, and then you'd complain about that even more. No, but you just take out 2 cards that you don't need here, like... Okay, never mind. Let's not get into that. Why are you playing three illusory? Um, why are you playing illusory snatcher? Illusory snatcher is like it increases the number of cards that work with tenacity and with return and whatever, but it doesn't clog your hand. So say you've got a hand with like multiple monarchs, you can only summon one of them that turn. But if it's illusory snatcher, then it's still an extra card that let you use your tenacities and things, but. It doesn't clog your hand up either. You can still just go summon the monarch, summon the snatcher. There, there's like I put it in as a joke to annoy Jordan, but it actually works out quite well. <clears throat> and Gofu is Cyber Dragon, the tuner, it it and you can uh, make Crystal Wing with it. Um, I use popping the tokens with Kuras more than I use making Ultimaya. Pop pop tokens get two draws. Okay. Yeah, it's like I'm playing Ultimaya because I'd be playing Gofu anyway, rather than playing Gofu just to use Ultimaya, if that makes sense. Yeah. But I really like the tokens, you pop them and get free cards. For the side deck, we have a bunch of engine cards for different matchups. Strike of the Monarch. Duncan, why is there a Strike of the Monarchs in here? Wait for the mirror match. Right. Okay. You negate their, if you've got a big field, you negate their Stormforth. If you've got a wee field, you tribute your only tri tribute summoned guy off with it. Then they don't have something proper to Stormforth on your side of the field, and you've negated their return or their brilliant fusion. Well, not brilliant fusion if they're using Stormforth, but you get something. Mm. Look, just to play around Stormforth and negate stuff. It's searchable negation. Like people play Valor in the mirror match when you can just search strike. March and the Lation. Oh, unfair against Burning Abyss. Like, how do they actually kill an Aether? <laughs> <laughs> they can't furf it, they can't fog blade it. How do they kill an Aether? They have to use F0 just to attack you through a 2 8 guy. I guess so. 2 escalation for 
macro decks for Mobius, right? I say that in most of the time when I go first. You take out your escalation when you go second and you put in three when you go first. <laughs> okay. Because if they set up escalation return and they don't have a twin twister, you probably win the game. And people don't really side in back row destruction against that deck. That's why anti spell's so good as well. They don't expect anti spell. They don't put in twisters or MSTs or anything. And then you just fucking anti spell and then yeah, so you, you thought the card was so good so you played two. I was playing an extra searchable side deck card instead of the Cursed Seal, and so there was only room for two. And then I put in the Cursed Seal instead because I decided that Galaxy Serpent was terrible after all. <laughs> but uh, I put in the Cursed Seal instead of another anti spell because Jordan and Ryan were both playing Monarch. Oh. And I thought they were the best two players in the room at the LLDS, and so I was going to just decide an extra thing for them instead of an extra thing for whoever was playing Metal Foes. Okay, so who, uh, oh, sorry, what were your matchups like? Um, I played the mirror round one, then I played DDD Blue Eyes round two. <laughs> All in one deck. Yep. It was pretty much DDDs, but with Melody, Alternative Dragon, and Blue Eyes for just the extra rank 8 plays, I think. Of course. It kind of worked of course. somehow. I th I'd have thought the synergy between those two decks would be Lamia because it searchable with the DD stuff and you can synchro it with the blue eyes stuff but that's not out yet oh, but he almost he almost won game one he'd have won game one if he played red eyes flare then round three what did i have round three i had mermel round three i had burning a best round four which was my one loss in the swiss and then i had round five i had metal foes and then the mirror top four and the mirror in the final well, well, that's uh, that, that's awesome. So, um, I guess that's it for your deck. We've seen it before on um, the channel. I need to tell you about the two funny plays that happened. Oh, oh god, there's more. There's more. <laughs> They're the silly plays that don't happen in normal monarch decks. So, one against Metal Foes, he passes on. I managed to beat out the Karen, so he didn't have it at the end of his turn. He passed on a big guy in defense and an Admante, the 2-5 guy, and my play went something like Aether, summon Aether, activate the effect, chain or illusory snatcher, summon Zaborg from the deck, summon Prime from the grave, make Volcasaurus pop the Admante, make Gaia Dragon attack over the big guy, and then attack again with illusory snatcher and Aether. Wow. And then the other weird play was, I can't remember it exactly, it involved going Erebus adds Illusory Snatcher from Grave, chain Durandal to shuffle to bait out my opponent's Aether, he's Dornforth Aether's my Durandal, then I draw Gofu and summon that, then tribute it for Dark Witch, and chain Snatcher, and then make a Zaborg, no, make a Volcosaurus with them. Wow. <laughs> this one? <laughs> well, that's okay. Place. Oh, that's a... Uh... Duncan's deck, and it's going to be around deck. for another two weeks, sadly, until uh, Rumini and um, Toronto are over, sadly, but yeah. Then your deck profile, so thanks for watching, and see you next time. Oh.